Mars needs makers. ExploreMars.org invites you to join Trades in Space and shape tomorrow today. My name is Mark Aldaba. I'm a manufacturing engineer here at Aerojet Rocketdyne, an L3 Harris company. Uh, I've been working for the company for almost 16 years now. And every day is just like the first, amazing. After high school, I really didn't have any clear direction on where I wanted to go with my life. To, to tell you the truth, I really wasn't the most studious uh, person in high school. What I did know is that I had a passion for, for building things. A lot of my younger years, growing up in the garage with my dad, he was a machinist in the aerospace industry, and he always taught me to go out and build things. And that's what I did. I got into the automotive industry. I started working at local garages, building custom cars and custom motorcycles. And then I figured I need something more. I need something more challenging in my life. What can I do that's going to make a bigger impact on society and in life and the whole world? My, my dad told me, why don't you get into aerospace? And eventually I got my first big break, if you will at Aerojet Rocketdyne, and they hired me as a metal fabricator for the Space Shuttle Main Engine Program. A lot of the work that happens in the automotive industry translates surprisingly well into the aerospace industry. Only a lot more closer tolerances and more attention to detail um, in order to, to build the kind of parts that the industry requires. The machines that we work with today are actually very similar to the machines that we used to work with in the automotive industry. Only a lot bigger scale, a lot more precise. I would say that a lot of the experiences that I got from the automotive industry translate perfect into the aerospace industry. One of the biggest challenges I faced while transitioning into the aerospace industry was getting acceptance from my peers. There was a lot of tension that I experienced between myself and a lot of the more senior technicians that were on the floor. It was almost as if they kind of saw a threat from us younger people joining the workforce. But after I was able to show them that, hey, I can do the job that you're doing and I can bring some insight from another perspective. And after that, I guess you could say I earned their respect. Some of the responses that I got from my peers over in the automotive industry um, in response to me going over into the aerospace industry were actually disbelief. Like they looked at me and said, wait a minute, are you telling me that you're now building rocket engines? I mean like just last month you were, you were building car engines with us and now you're, you're working in the space industry? How'd you do that? How can I get into that? And I grew up watching the news and watching Discovery Channel, learning about one of the biggest achievements of humankind. And when I got a phone call from Aerojet Rocketdyne and said, we would like to hire you to be a fabricator for the Space Shuttle Main Engine Program. I was speechless. I, they're gonna give me the opportunity to work on the engines that are gonna send astronauts to space. Like up until then, I built, I built cars and motorcycles. Now I get to be a part of that. Now I get to work on the space shuttle. There were countless moments where I didn't think I could do a job, but I had mentors and leaders that helped me and gave me the confidence and the proper training to be able to do what other people think is impossible. There is a place for you. Whether you are a welder or a machinist, a mechanic, a painter, anything that involves working with your hands, there is a place for you in the aerospace industry. And if you want to be something that's a part of uh, human history and space exploration, this is your opportunity to go out there and do it. Our journey to space cannot be achieved by just one country. It takes the efforts of the entire world. It's a collective effort and we cannot achieve the goals of space exploration without everyone, whether you're an engineer or a scientist or a skilled tradesperson. I've been in this industry for over 16 years 
and there's still so much more work to be done. We are in constant need of welders, machinists, skilled tradespeople. We want people with those skills to come over here and build rocket engines. The space shuttle program lasted over 40 years and Aerojet Rocket 9 has been a part of every single launch from the first launch in 1980 to the last launch in 2011. We hope that one day our Artemis wall will be just as big and successful, if not larger, than the space shuttle program. The engines that we build here at Aerojet Rocketdyne will one day help propel humans to space, back to the moon, Mars, and beyond. Visit us online at exploremars.org for more information about Aerojet Rocketdyne and to view other Trades in Space videos.